Hi, this is Pastor Kevin. When I preach, I tend to emphasize the goodness of God, the grace of God, the mercy of God. I don't like to use scare tactics. I'm not one to try to scare people into believing in God. I prefer to love people into God's kingdom. But at the same time, uh, I would be neglectful if I didn't mention the reality of hell. The Bible refers to hell in many phrases. Um, it's called the wages of sin is death in Romans 6.23. It's referred to as perishing in John 3.16. Ezekiel says, the soul that sins, it will die. And many people are aware of the popularity of heavenly near-death stories. Definitely popularized by books and movies called Heaven is for Real. You know, Colton Burpo's story. I believe in all that. I believe that uh, doctors have verified the authenticity of such experiences. I'm sure there, there are a few fakes, to be sure. Uh, there are fakes in all genres. But I believe that overall the evidence shows that near-death stories are authentic and real. Having said that, even though heaven is for real, we must also say that hell is for real. For example, the man who said that he once died and saw heaven, and then he died a second time and saw hell. And he wrote about it in his book, which you can get on Amazon, titled, A Near-Death Experience. I died and came back from hell. Or a man from Tennessee who was stabbed in a fight, and he said, quote, I knew my body was still on the gurney, but I was floating and I began to hear screams of people all around me, crying and wailing. Or the soldier in Korea who endured an explosion from a grenade and found himself floating towards this thick darkness before he called out to Jesus. Or a man in, in California who was in a hospital for pancreatitis in 2013, he says that he entered a dark realm. He said, quote, I became paralyzed with fear as my vision be began to clear up and my surroundings came into focus. I found myself on the outskirts of a sea of people who were running around like wild savages, hitting each other with a variety of different weapons. You name it, they had it. Everybody had white eyes, even down to their pupils. Haunting eyes that I will never forget. Soulless eyes. He said they had every attribute of being human, but there was something missing. What was missing? Their soul, their essence. And I believe that you can walk through grocery stores and theaters and cinemas and your work and see people with the same vacant, hollow look in their eyes. They're alive physically, but that's about it. The Bible refers to this when God told Adam and Eve if they ate the forbidden fruit, they would die. They ate the fruit, and they didn't die physically. They died on the inside. They lost their innocence. They lost that divine spark. They were alive in the bios, biology life but they lost the, the Zoe spiritual life. And we're seeing that on a widespread basis in America and throughout the world. People having physical life, and they're enjoying their work and entertainment and amusements and drink and food and so forth, but they're not alive on the inside. Something is missing. It's the soul. The soul of our nation is dying. So hell is not a party. Hell is not fun. Hell is not a continual rock concert with sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Hell is misery. Hell is disgusting. Hell is awful. Everyone who has gone there and come back has told a, a hauntingly nightmare story. And if you're really interested, I would encourage you to put into your YouTube search engine Howard Storm Near-Death Experience. A fervent, staunch atheist 
who became converted to Christ as a result of a terrifying near-death story. Hell is not a picnic. Hell is not a rock concert. Hell is not a Rob Zombie or an Ozzy Osbourne concert. It's not going to be fun, enjoyable, sexy, or wonderful. It's going to be awful, disgusting, wretched, miserable, full of despair and pain. If it wasn't, it'd be called heaven. So, repent, believe in God. He wants all to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. But, as writer C.S. Lewis said, hell is locked from the inside, not the outside. God does not want any to be lost. So, call out to Him while you can. Believe in Him because heaven is the party. Heaven is the banquet. Heaven is the place with smiles and laughter and music and joy. That's where you want to be. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give me a like. God bless.